wants to ask you something. No, I don't. You ask her. You. Okay. Mrs. Baker, can Corey have a color TV? I've been asked that question before, and the answer is still the same. What? Not until our budget can afford it. That's right. I'm going downstairs to give Mr. Cooper the rent check. I'll be right back. Too bad you can't have a color TV, Corey. Yeah. I know what. What? What's that? The poster paint Steve Bruce gave me. What are you going to do? I'm going to color my own TV. Boy, that's a great idea. Let me help. OK. Well, it's very hard to paint moving people. That's for sure. Corey, you know what I think we ought to do? Corey! Earl? Earl, I just saw your mother downstairs. Oh, no. Oh, boy. I was only downstairs for 10 minutes. How could you make such a mess so quickly? He helped me. Well, you just help each other clean it up on the double. Paper towels, water, and soap. And just to teach you, mister, that a TV set is not a toy. No television, mister, starting right now. Oh, Mom. Don't awe, oh, Mommy. Get moving on the double. Boy, what a neat old car. It says here that I'm not stupid, stupid. I know how to read. I was just trying to save you the trouble. Why? So I can take the ones you're through with home to read. Well, if you read them to me, you've already read them to yourself, dummy. I never thought of that. Let's do something else. What? Well, we might as well get some more of that yucky cake. Boy, my stomach is sure going to be mad at me. <laughs> ah! Roberta. Yes, Corey? What's an essay? What do you want to know that for? Because I got to write one. An essay is a composition about a certain subject. What's a subject? A certain particular thing, like a person or place. You mean like telling someone something important about someone only in writing? That's it, buddy. after I dry my hair. No, thanks. Oh, Monopoly? Nah. Are you doing homework? No, but I'm working on a project. Oh. Well, if you need me, I'll be here. Hello? Oh, no, not tonight, Steve. You took me to dinner twice last week. Yes, I know one order of chili burgers isn't expensive. I've never settled for just one order yet, have I? <laughs> Seriously, I think I'll spend some time with Corey tonight. No, nothing's wrong. It's just something I want to do. Yes, I knew you'd understand. I love you for that. Standing around. Want to play? No. Nope. How come? Because I'm busy. Doing what? Standing around. You've been.
been busy doing an awful lot of sitting around lately. That's why I'm standing around. Boy! I'll see you later, old Jay Wagonorm. Rats, cats, gnats. That kid's getting mysteriouser and mysteriouser. <laughs> Sorry, Corey. Everything's running late today. Is it too late for you to take this to the post office for me? Oh, no. That's what Uncle Sam pays me for. I wanted to go airmail, please. Airmail, huh? Must be pretty important. Yep, sure is. Well, we got a little problem, Corey. What? Well, uh, Uncle Sam doesn't take trading stamps. Why not? It's his stamp, isn't it? I'm afraid not, Corey. You see, Uncle Sam wants cash for his stamps, and an airmail letter takes a 10-cent stamp. That's if you hurry before the price goes up. I don't have a 10-cent stamp. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put a stamp on it myself, and when you get your allowance, you can pay me back. Gee, thanks a lot. You'll get your stamp back. I know I will. Bye. Bye. Oh, just in time. Dinner's ready. Good. My stomach's pretty hungry. Did you get all your work done? Yep. What sort of work is it? Something for school? No. Nope. Not exactly. Oh. Is it something personal? Uh-huh. Sounds like a secret project. Can you talk about it? I don't think I better. And why not? You probably tell old G. Wagoner's mother then he'd find out. Corey Baker. Since when can't you tell me something in confidence? But this is real special. Cross my heart and hope to die. Well, okay. But promise you won't tell. I promise. I entered a contest. What kind of contest? An essay contest. Well, good for you. What's your essay about? My dad. Corey, how could you write about your dad? You were so young, you never really knew him. But I do know him, Mom. I wish you had, son, but... He had to be special, I know that, because you married him, and you wouldn't marry just anybody. What's the prize in the contest? Oh, they have lots of prizes. Like what? Oh, just things. Boy, I'm as hungry as my stomach. I just poured it. I'll go pour another for myself. You're not Marie. No, I'm not. I've got a telegram from Mr. Corey Baker. Corey? Yes, ma'am. I'll take it. Sign here, please. Oh, oh. May your uh, philanthropy never leave you in poverty. You're welcome. Hey, what happened to my dime? Dime? I put it right over there to buy a stamp with. Oh, I'm sorry, son. I just gave it to the messenger. Corey, you have a telegram. 
For me? Yeah. Congrats. Congrats. Here, you better read it, Mom. It's big words. Congratulations. You have been chosen as one of the 50 finalists in our national essay contest. Wow! Please send by return mail a picture of your father, Walter Baker. Winners will be announced in our next issue. Good luck! Oh, boy, Mom! Oh, that's just wonderful, Corey, that you've gotten this far. Yeah, and I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win my prize. <laughs> What? I'm going to get a color TV set of my very own. You are? Yes, sirree. Maybe. How do you know? Because I entered a contest and I got a telegram. That's different. Can I watch your color TV, Corey? Sure, you're my best friend, aren't you? You bet. Especially since you're going to get a color TV set of your very own. Hey, how you doing, Corey? Fine. <laughs> so I'm advertising the meal today? No, uh, just a couple of uh, advertisements. You sure there's no magazine? Yep, I'm sure. You know, uh, I'm a professional mailman. Okay. Well, here's your stamp back. I pasted it on so I wouldn't lose it. Well, thanks a lot, Corey. I knew my pal wouldn't let me down. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make you an assistant mailman. You are? Yep. I want you to take these advertisements right up to your mother. Lately. Corey, what's the matter with you? I told you over 15 minutes ago to start cleaning up this mess. I'm using it. Don't you feel well, boy? You've been acting strange the last few days. I'm not sick. Well, then what's wrong with you? Nothing. Okay, since nothing's wrong, you've got five minutes to start cleaning up this mess. Corey Baker? If you don't move soon, I'm going to use my hand for something else besides washing dishes. Better not. You're supposed to be a sitter, not a hitter. You've got to have some responsibility, and I can be a sitter hitter. I've got responsibility. So do I, and you're it. Now get to work. So when Steve called, I said, good heavens! What happened here? I'm sorry, Mrs. Baker, but you did say Corey was supposed to put away his own playthings. Yes, I did. Corey, why is all this stuff all over the room? We're using it. All of it? Yes, ma'am. Oh, that's impossible. I've been trying to get him to clean this up for the last half an hour. All right, Roberta. Corey, get this disaster area cleaned up on the double. And you can help him, Merle. Come on, Corey. Want some coffee? Sounds great. Marie? Why not? Bills, bills, bills. Thank you, Roberta. Me too. Oh, Corey! Here's the magazine announcing the contest winners. Let me see, let me see! What contest? I entered an essay contest. No kidding, did you win? Did I, Mom? Did I? Let's see, let's see. Oh, list of contest winners on page 27. 27. Here we are. Grand winner of the third annual Greatest Man Contest won by Leonard Klein, Boulder, Colorado. A 10-day all-expense trip for two to Paris. Wow. Is my name there? Yes, 
just a minute, just a minute. Second prize goes to Arthur L. Never mind who. Get, uh, look for Corey Baker. All right, and third prize won by Corey Baker. Oh, oh, my Lord. 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 Where are you going? Third. Yeah. Shucks. Third prize is a trip to Hawaii. Wow. Aloha. I want an honorable mention. But third prize is better, darling. Honorable mentions get color television sets. Rats. I'm sorry you did better than you expected, but since you did win third prize, may we read your essay? I don't have it. You don't have it? I send it in. Well, don't you have a carbon? What's a carbon? A copy. Nope, but I remember what I said. Oh, wonderful. Tell us. Yeah, tell us. Come on, Corey. Okay, let's see. Well, first I said that the greatest man in the world to me would be my dad. Except I don't have one anymore. I said that even if I never really, really knew him, I know he was a wonderful man on account of my mom married him. And she's somebody really special. And also because he got killed in Vietnam trying to help other people. And I wrote that if he was still here, my dad and I would do all sorts of things together and have fun like kids are supposed to with their dads, even if their moms try hard to be both a mom and a dad. And then I said that I hope that all the kids who still have their dads appreciated them as much as I would if I still had mine. some other stuff I wrote that I don't remember too good. Well, gee, didn't anybody like it? I sure did. Uh, yes, Corey, but um, we better be going. Lenny will want his dinner. I've got to run, too. Sorry about the color TV, Corey. So long, Mrs. Baker. Bye. Why'd they all leave like that? Didn't they like my essay? Of course they did, darling. They wanted to leave us alone together so that I could say how beautiful your essay was and how proud I am of you, Corey. And how proud your father would be, too. Gee, Mom, thanks. I didn't think it was that good when I wrote it. Maybe not, but the contest judges obviously did. Yeah, and look what happened. I didn't get my color TV set. Well, don't be too disappointed. You'll get another chance at one sometime. Hey, that's right. I'll look for another contest, one I won't be so good at. <laughs> It arrived a few minutes ago. Oh, I'm glad he's happy, too. Corey will be delighted. Thank you so much, Mrs. Webster. And, and thank Arnold, too. Yes. It's quite all right. Thanks again. Goodbye. Hi, Mom. Hello, mister. I got a surprise for you. What? Well, close your eyes and sit very, very still. All right, open up. Well, you bought one, Mom. You bought a color TV. Well, not exactly. Where did it come from? I called one of the other winners. He was delighted to trade your trip to Hawaii for his TV set. Wow, Mom, you're great. Don't you want to watch it, Corey? Sure. 